This is the Panasonic GX1. It's a completely new line of Micro Four Thirds cameras from Panasonic. Now being a Micro Four Third camera, that means it has the interchangeable lenses, but is all put together on a compact body. Now it's similar in many respects to the Panasonic GF1. However, there's a lot of new technology that's been introduced since the GF1 that features on this GX1. And this GX1 also stands apart because it is a very premium camera. It's got a metal body, metal buttons and controls. It's got this comfortable grip here and a, a nice premium finish. Now it's going to be available in black and silver and having that X in its name shows that it's going to be compatible with the higher end X lenses in the Micro Four Thirds system. Now it's got a 14 to 42 mil standard lens on here and it's going to launch with this lens in December although you're going to be able to also buy it with a 14 to 42 millimeter X lens and that will be available in January. I've got one of those X lenses in my pocket. It's not the 14 to 42 mil zoom, but instead it's the 45 to 175 power zoom. And it's got this power zoom control on the barrel, which is great if you're shooting video. Now, some of those new features include the level gauge. Uh, so that allows you to align the camera with the horizon, whether shooting in landscape or portrait. Uh, it's great for stills and video, making you sure you get a square shot. Uh, there are also four FN or function buttons. Now these allow you to customize the camera. You can program them so they access your favorite features for quick access to those features when you're out and about. And there's also the manual focus assist feature that allows you to get pinpoint accuracy with your manual focus by enlarging the area that you're focusing on by up to 10 times. There's also one push AE. So when you've adjusted the shutter speed or the aperture to a setting that doesn't quite suit the conditions by doing the one push AE, it will automatically align those and correct them. So you get a decent shot. And there's also the touch zoom feature that will allow you to zoom in without using the lens barrel. Instead, you control that on the touch screen on the rear of the camera. And there can be three different settings of zoom speed. Uh, so you can have slow, medium or fast. The GX1 has a built in pop up flash, but there's also a mount on the top of the camera for an external flash or the new electronic viewfinder that's also launching for around £229. There's also a couple of new shooting modes and that's toy effect and low key. And this camera can shoot full HD video and it can capture the files in ABC HD format or MP4. Now beyond those new features, the camera is also generally much faster and we'll be looking to test its performance once we buy this camera and put it through its paces in the labs. But in the meantime, if you want more details on this camera and hundreds of others, then go to our website at which.co.uk forward slash cameras. <laughs>